Hello and welcome. Today, we embark on a journey, a journey to the heart of what moves us, inspires us, and connects us as human beings. We're going to explore the beauty and diversity of spiritual events celebrated across the globe. From ancient rituals passed down through generations to vibrant festivals that illuminate the night sky, these sacred occasions offer us a glimpse into the rich tapestry of human faith and spirituality. They remind us that despite our differences in culture, language, or geography, we share a common thread, a yearning for something greater than ourselves. We'll experience the joy, the reflection, the hope, and the sense of community that these special days bring to billions around the world. Across the vast expanse of deserts, under the scorching sun, millions converge on a single destination, Mecca, the holiest city in Islam. This is Hajj, the annual Islamic pilgrimage, a journey of a lifetime, a pillar of Islamic faith. Imagine standing shoulder to shoulder with fellow Muslims from every corner of the world, their voices united in prayer, their hearts echoing with the same deep devotion. This is a journey of spiritual cleansing, a stripping away of worldly possessions and status, a return to a state of purity and submission to Allah. Every step of the Hajj, from circling the Kaaba to the standing vigil at Mount Arafat, is steeped in history and religious significance. Each ritual a poignant reminder of the trials and triumphs of the Prophet Abraham and his family. Picture the sea of white-clad pilgrims, their hearts filled with humility and hope, moving as one, their collective prayers creating an awe-inspiring symphony of faith. The Hajj is not just a physical journey, it's a transformative experience, a testament to the power of faith to unite humanity in a common bond of spirituality. For those who undertake this arduous journey, it is a life-altering event, a chance to wipe the slate clean, to seek forgiveness, and to deepen their connection with God. The lessons learned and the bonds formed during Hajj stay with the pilgrims long after they return home, shaping their lives and inspiring them to live by the tenets of Islam. The pilgrimage serves as a powerful symbol of unity, equality, and the universality of faith. Regardless of race, nationality, or social standing, all pilgrims stand as equals before God their hearts united in devotion. This shared experience transcends cultural boundaries, fostering a sense of global Islamic brotherhood. The Hajj is a reminder of the power of faith to move mountains, to bring people together, and to inspire acts of kindness and compassion. It's a testament to the enduring legacy of Islam and its message of peace, unity, and submission to the divine. As the pilgrims complete their journey, returning to their homes and families, they carry with them not just memories, but a renewed sense of purpose, a strengthened faith, and a heart overflowing with gratitude for the opportunity to have fulfilled this sacred duty. From the deserts of Arabia, we travel to the vibrant landscape of India, where homes and streets alike are illuminated by the warm glow of millions of diyas, small oil lamps that signify the victory of light over darkness, good over evil, and knowledge over ignorance. This is Diwali, the festival of lights, one of the most important celebrations in Hinduism. Imagine the aroma of spices filling the air, the rhythmic beat of drums echoing through the streets, and the joyous laughter of families coming together to celebrate. Diwali is a time for new beginnings, for letting go of negativity and embracing the light within and all around us. This festival commemorates the return of Lord Rama to his kingdom after 14 years of exile. His return, symbolized by the lighting of Dias, signifies the triumph of good over evil and the dispelling of ignorance by knowledge. It's a time for reflection, for introspection, for looking within and kindling the light of our own inner strength and goodness. Homes are cleaned and decorated with intricate Rangoli designs, colorful patterns created on the floor using colored powders, flowers, or rice. These designs symbolize the welcoming of good fortune and prosperity into our lives. The air is filled with the sweet aroma of traditional sweets and savories, shared with family and friends as expressions of love and gratitude. Children's eyes sparkle with excitement as they set off firecrackers, their joyous shouts and laughter filling the night. The fireworks, while symbolic of the victory of light over darkness, also serve as a reminder to be the light in the world, to banish the darkness of ignorance and negativity with knowledge, compassion, and love. Diwali is a celebration of life, a time for renewal and rejoicing. It's a reminder that even in the darkest of times, the light will always find a way to shine through. 
It's a festival that transcends religious boundaries, its message of hope, joy, and the triumph of good over evil resonating with people of all faiths and backgrounds. As the last of the fireworks fade and the Diaz slowly extinguish, the spirit of Diwali lingers on, reminding us to carry the light of hope, knowledge, and compassion within us, illuminating our own lives and the lives of those around us. Across continents, in the heart of springtime, a different kind of light emerges, the soft, hopeful light of dawn, symbolizing rebirth, renewal, and the triumph of hope over despair. This is Easter, the most important celebration in the Christian faith, commemorating the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Imagine the solemn hush of churches adorned with lilies, their white blossoms representing purity and new life. The air is thick with incense, and the sound of hymns fills the sacred space, their melodies echoing the story of sacrifice, love, and redemption. Easter Sunday marks the culmination of Holy Week, a week of reflection on the final days of Jesus' life, his crucifixion, and his miraculous resurrection. It's a time for Christians to reflect on the profound message of Jesus' teachings, love, forgiveness, compassion, and the promise of eternal life. The story of Easter is a powerful reminder that even in the darkest of times, hope can emerge victorious. The resurrection of Jesus is a testament to the power of faith, a beacon of hope for believers, assuring them of God's love and the promise of life after death. Churches are filled with the joyous voices of congregations celebrating the resurrection, their faith renewed, their spirits uplifted by the message of hope and redemption. The ringing of church bells on Easter morning heralds the good news, spreading the message of joy and renewal throughout the world. Beyond the religious significance, Easter is also a celebration of spring, a time when nature awakens from its winter slumber, mirroring the themes of rebirth and renewal. It's a time for families to come together, to share meals, to hunt for brightly colored eggs, a symbol of new life and the joy of discovery. Easter is a time for reflection, for gratitude, for rejoicing in the gift of life and the promise of eternal life. It's a reminder that even in the face of adversity, hope springs eternal, love conquers all, and faith has the power to move mountains. As the sun sets on Easter Sunday, casting a warm glow over the world, may the spirit of this special day stay with us, reminding us of the transformative power of faith, the importance of love and forgiveness, and the enduring hope that springs eternal. As the sun dips below the horizon, casting a golden hue across the sky, a hush falls over Muslim communities worldwide. The call to prayer echoes, marking the beginning of iftar, the breaking of the fast during the holy month of Ramadan. Imagine the tantalizing aroma of spices and traditional dishes filling homes as families gather to share a meal together, their faces glowing with the warmth of togetherness and gratitude. Ramadan, the ninth month of the Islamic lunar calendar, is a time of deep spiritual reflection, self-improvement, and increased devotion to Allah. During this sacred month, Muslims abstain from food and drink from dawn to dusk, a physical and spiritual act of worship that fosters empathy for those less fortunate and cultivates self-discipline and gratitude. It's a time for introspection, for examining one's relationship with God, and for seeking forgiveness and spiritual renewal. The act of fasting is seen as a way to purify the soul, to detach from worldly desires, and to focus on spiritual growth. It's a time for increased prayer, recitation of the Quran, and acts of charity and kindness. Families wake up before dawn to share a meal called suhoor, a time for nourishment and connection before the day's fast begins. The streets come alive after sunset as families and friends gather to break their fast together, sharing stories, laughter, and the spirit of community. Ramadan is a time for strengthening family bonds, for reaching out to neighbors and the less fortunate, and for spreading joy and generosity. Throughout the month, mosques are filled with worshipers, their voices united in prayer, their hearts seeking closeness to God. The atmosphere is electric with devotion, and the sense of community is palpable. Ramadan culminates in the joyous celebration of Eid al-Fitr, a time for feasting, exchanging gifts, and expressing gratitude for the blessings of the past month. It's a reminder that even after a period of introspection and sacrifice, joy and celebration await. As the crescent moon marks the end of Ramadan, May the spirit of this holy month remain in our hearts, reminding us of the importance of compassion, gratitude, and the transformative power of faith.
In the serene stillness of a full moon night, a gentle breeze carries the scent of lotus blossoms and incense, creating an atmosphere of tranquility and reverence. This is Vesak, a sacred day for millions of Buddhists around the world, commemorating the birth, enlightenment, and death of Siddhartha Gautama, the Buddha. Imagine temples adorned with colorful lanterns and flags, their soft glow illuminating the serene faces of monks and devotees alike. The air vibrates with the rhythmic chanting of sutras, each word a step towards inner peace and understanding. Vesak is a time for reflection on the Buddha's teachings, his message of compassion, non-violence, and the path to liberation from suffering. It's a day for practicing loving kindness, for extending compassion to all beings, and for striving for inner peace and enlightenment. Devotees gather in temples to meditate, to offer flowers and incense to the Buddha, and to listen to sermons by monks, their words offering guidance and inspiration. The act of offering symbolizes the letting go of ego and attachment, a key principle in Buddhist teachings. Vesak is a celebration of the light that shines from within, the light of wisdom, compassion, and enlightenment that the Buddha embodied. It's a reminder that each of us has the potential to awaken to our own inner Buddha nature, to cultivate compassion and wisdom, and to live a life guided by peace and understanding. The streets come alive with processions and festivities, with people sharing food, offering alms to monks, and participating in acts of kindness and generosity. Vesak is a time for spreading joy, for expressing gratitude, and for reaffirming one's commitment to the path of compassion and enlightenment. The gentle glow of candles and lanterns illuminates homes and temples, symbolizing the light of the Buddha's teachings illuminating the world, dispelling darkness and ignorance, and guiding us towards a path of peace and liberation. As the full moon bathes the world in its gentle light, may the spirit of Vesak inspire us to cultivate compassion, to seek wisdom, and to strive to live in accordance with the Buddha's teachings, bringing peace and harmony to ourselves and the world around us. As the sun begins its descent, casting long shadows across the land, a palpable sense of solemnity descends upon Jewish communities worldwide. This is Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, the holiest day in the Jewish calendar, a time for deep introspection, repentance, and spiritual renewal. Imagine synagogues filled with the murmuring of prayers, the haunting melody of the shofar, a ram's horn, piercing the silence, its sound a call to reflection and repentance. Yom Kippur marks the culmination of the 10 days of repentance that begin with Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year. This is a day for confronting one's shortcomings, for acknowledging mistakes made, and for seeking forgiveness from God and from those we may have wronged. It's a time for introspection, for examining one's actions and motivations, and for making amends for past transgressions. The atmosphere is one of solemnity and reflection, as individuals and communities engage in a collective process of spiritual cleansing. Fasting is observed from sunset to sunset, a physical manifestation of inner reflection and a way to purify the body and soul. Services in synagogues are filled with prayers of confession, acknowledging individual and collective transgressions, and seeking God's forgiveness. The haunting sound of the shofar serves as a wake-up call, urging people to confront their shortcomings and to return to a path of righteousness. Yom Kippur is not a day of mourning but rather a day of hope and renewal. It's a chance to wipe the slate clean, to seek reconciliation, and to start anew with a renewed commitment to living a life of purpose and meaning. Families and friends gather to break the fast together at the end of Yom Kippur, sharing a meal that symbolizes the sweetness of forgiveness and the joy of starting anew. The atmosphere is one of relief, gratitude, and renewed hope. As the sun sets on Yom Kippur, may the spirit of this sacred day inspire us to seek forgiveness, to extend compassion, and to strive to live lives of integrity and purpose. From the solemn hush of Yom Kippur, we travel to a vibrant explosion of color and life, a celebration of life and death, where the veil between the physical and spiritual worlds is at its thinnest. This is Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead, a tradition deeply rooted in Mexican culture, a time to remember and honor loved ones who have passed on. Imagine streets transformed into vibrant parades filled with music, dancing skeletons, and elaborately decorated altars adorned with offerings for departed souls. The air is thick with the scent of marigolds, their vibrant orange petals guiding the spirits home. 
Contrary to its name, Dia de los Muertos is not a day of mourning but rather a joyous celebration of life and death, a time to remember and honor loved ones who have passed on. It's a time for families to come together, to share stories, to laugh, to cry, and to keep the memory of their loved ones alive. Homes and cemeteries are adorned with ofrendas, altars decorated with offerings such as food, drinks, photos, and personal belongings of the deceased. The offerings are meant to welcome the spirits back home and to show them that they are remembered and loved. Sugar skulls, with their whimsical designs and bright colors, are a ubiquitous symbol of Dia de los Muertos, representing death as a natural part of life, not something to be feared. They are often decorated with the name of the deceased and placed on the ofrenda as a sweet tribute. The air is filled with the sound of mariachi bands playing lively tunes, their music a celebration of life and a reminder that death is not the end but a transition to another realm. People dress up as Katrinas, elegant skeletons adorned with flowers and colorful dresses, symbolizing the beauty and acceptance of death. Dia de los Muertos is a reminder that life and death are intertwined, that death is not the end but a continuation of the journey in another form. It's a celebration of life, a time for remembering, honoring, and celebrating the lives of those who have passed on. As the festivities draw to a close and the spirits of loved ones return to their realm, may the spirit of Dia de los Muertos stay with us, reminding us to cherish our loved ones, both living and departed, and to embrace life with joy, knowing that death is not the end but a new beginning. As the old year gives way to the new, a wave of excitement sweeps across the globe, from the bustling streets of Beijing to Chinatowns worldwide, as billions prepare to welcome the Lunar New Year, a celebration deeply ingrained in Chinese culture, marking a time for new beginnings, family reunions, and hopes for a prosperous year ahead. Imagine streets ablaze with color, the deafening roar of firecrackers chasing away evil spirits, and the mesmerizing dance of dragons and lions, their movement symbolizing good luck and prosperity. The air is thick with the aroma of traditional foods, each dish carrying a symbolic meaning for the year ahead. Chinese New Year is a time for families to come together, to honor ancestors, and to celebrate the arrival of spring and a fresh start. It's a time for forgiveness, for letting go of past grievances, and for looking forward to a year filled with good fortune and happiness. Homes are meticulously cleaned and decorated with red lanterns and intricate paper cuttings, symbolizing good luck and prosperity. Red envelopes filled with money are exchanged, a gesture of good fortune and blessings for the year ahead. The highlight of the celebrations is the reunion dinner, a time for families to gather, share stories and enjoy traditional dishes like dumplings, symbolizing wealth and prosperity. The table is laden with food, a symbol of abundance and good fortune for the coming year. Lion and dragon dances, performed by skilled dancers in elaborate costumes, wind their way through the streets, their energetic movements bringing good luck and warding off evil spirits. The rhythmic beating of drums and crashing of cymbals add to the festive atmosphere, creating an unforgettable sensory experience. Chinese New Year is a time for new beginnings, for setting intentions, and for looking forward to a year filled with opportunities and blessings. It's a reminder of the importance of family, tradition, and the passing down of cultural heritage from one generation to the next. As the festivities reach their peak and fireworks illuminate the night sky, May the spirit of Chinese New Year inspire us to embrace new beginnings, to cherish our families, and to approach the year ahead with hope, joy, and a sense of boundless possibility. This is Malid Al Nabi, the observance of the birthday of Prophet Muhammad, a time for reflection, prayer, and remembrance in the Islamic faith. Imagine mosques illuminated with twinkling lights, their minarets echoing with the melodious recitation of verses from the Quran, each word a testament to the life and teachings of the Prophet. The air is filled with the scent of incense and the murmur of prayers, creating an atmosphere of reverence and spiritual devotion. Malid al-Nabi is a time for Muslims worldwide to reflect on the life of Prophet Muhammad, his teachings of peace, compassion, and submission to God. It's a time for studying his life, his words, and his actions, seeking guidance and inspiration from his example. Mosques and homes are decorated with lights and banners, their vibrant colors symbolizing the joy and reverence associated with this special occasion. Religious gatherings feature recitations of the Quran, sermons on the life and teachings of the Prophet, and devotional songs praising his virtues. The spirit of generosity and charity flourishes during Malid al-Nabi, 
with Muslims engaging in acts of kindness, offering food to the needy, and extending a helping hand to those less fortunate. It's a time for strengthening community bonds and expressing gratitude for the blessings in one's life. Storytelling plays a central role in Maulid al-Nabi celebrations, with tales of the Prophet's life, his miracles, and his teachings shared among generations. These stories serve as a reminder of his humanity, his compassion, and his unwavering faith in God. Maulid al-Nabi is not just a celebration of the past, but a call to action in the present. It's a reminder to live by the Prophet's teachings, to embody his values of compassion, generosity, and peace in our daily lives, and to strive to be a source of light and guidance for others. As the echoes of prayers and hymns fade and the lights dim, may the spirit of Maulid al-Nabi inspire us to live lives of purpose and meaning, guided by the teachings of compassion, peace, and submission to the divine. From the contemplative atmosphere of Maulid al-Nabi, we journey to a celebration filled with joyous music, vibrant colors, and playful reenactments of a divine childhood. This is Krishna Jan Mashtami, a Hindu festival commemorating the birth of Lord Krishna, an avatar of Vishnu, revered for his wisdom, playfulness, and his role as a divine protector. Imagine temples transformed into vibrant stages where devotees reenact scenes from Krishna's childhood, his mischievous pranks, his love for butter, and his triumph over evil. The air is alive with the sound of devotional songs, the rhythmic beat of drums, and the joyous laughter of children. Krishna Janmashtami is a celebration of the divine presence in the human form, a reminder that God can manifest in the most unexpected ways, bringing joy, love, and protection to the world. It's a time for letting go of inhibitions, for embracing the playful nature of the divine, and for celebrating the victory of good over evil. Homes are adorned with colorful decorations, intricate rangoli designs, and swings adorned with flowers, symbolizing Krishna's playful nature and his association with the beauty of nature. The aroma of traditional sweets and savories fills the air, especially sweets made with butter, a nod to Krishna's love for this delicacy. One of the most endearing traditions of Janmashtami is the Dahi Handi, where teams of young men form human pyramids to reach a pot filled with butter suspended high above the ground symbolizing Krishna's playful nature and his efforts to steal butter during his childhood. Temples hold special prayers and ceremonies throughout the day, culminating in the midnight hour, believed to be the time of Krishna's birth. The atmosphere is electric with devotion, as devotees sing hymns, offer prayers, and rock cradles adorned with images of baby Krishna. Krishna Janmashtami is a reminder that spirituality doesn't always have to be serious and austere. It can be joyous, playful, and full of love and laughter. It's a celebration of the divine presence in all aspects of life, even in the simplest of pleasures and the most mischievous of moments. As the celebrations continue late into the night, may the spirit of Krishna Janmashtami inspire us to approach life with a sense of joy, playfulness, and unwavering faith, knowing that the divine is always present, guiding and protecting us on our journey. As we conclude our journey through these diverse spiritual celebrations, we're left with a sense of awe at the richness and beauty of human faith. Each tradition, with its unique customs and beliefs, offers a glimpse into the human desire to connect with something greater than ourselves, to find meaning and purpose in life's journey. Understanding and respecting these diverse spiritual traditions is crucial in our increasingly interconnected world. These celebrations are not just religious observances, their expressions of cultural identity, historical narratives, and deep-seated beliefs that have shaped the lives of billions across generations. By approaching these traditions with an open mind and heart, we foster dialogue, understanding, and respect among different cultures and religions. Ultimately, these celebrations remind us that despite our differences, we are all united by our shared humanity, our search for meaning, and our desire for a more peaceful and compassionate world.